really delicious, flavorful, healthy, and it's not too busy a soup. Today we're going to make a very simple bean soup, one that is perfect for the fall, and also one that was made for laundry days in all kinds of Jewish and non-Jewish cultures. I'm reading a, little, a quote from um, Jenny Bassani Lisha, who was the sister of Giorgio Bassani, who wrote The Garden of Finzi Contini. Laundry day was always a big event. All the work took place in our courtyard with a big fire with fuel to warm up a pot of water for the laundry. At midday, our cook Inez would bring white bean soup to the laundry area. And to tell you the truth, everybody liked the soup. In fact, the manista di fagioli, which is considered a common food for the poor, if cooked with care, becomes incredibly flavorful. And it is not necessary to fry the onions in the manner that you usually do. You can put the raw ingredients in and you get an equal result with less indigestion. The first thing that we're gonna do is take beans and cover it with water. Then these are gonna sit for overnight or a few hours. So we're gonna use these beans that have sat for a while and we're going to cook them. We should have two inches of water to cover. Put some salt in. We're going to cook these with carrots and onions. Not going to saute them. As she said, this is not an Italian recipe but it's similar to an Italian recipe. And some garlic. And we're gonna cook this for an hour. Adding either four cups more water or, as I prefer to do, add vegetable broth. Okay. So this has been cooking for about an hour. This is a simple soup, but I like color in my cooking and I like taste. So we're gonna take some tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are good or whatever is really ripe. And throw this in. Then if you want, you can add nothing, or you can add a few pieces of, of spaghetti, because every Italian likes spaghetti. But one of the things that I've noticed is in Italy, you have very little spaghetti when you're doing something. Now, this could be Italian. This could be Greek. This could be Iraqi. Depends on the spices. I also would like to take this Swiss chard and cut it and add Swiss chard to it. Cook it for the last five minutes. And just let this Swiss chard, you could use Swiss chard, you could use escarole, you could use nothing, but I love the green. So this will cook for a few minutes. I'll also put parsley in. And actually, this is one of those things that I'll use what I have in my kitchen. So it's a, di it's a dish that I will make when I, have, when I can remember to soak the beans overnight and when I'm going to be very busy. It can be a whole meal without um, pasta. It can be a first course, but it has to be beautiful. And if you want, just to gild the lily, add a little bit of salt, of butter, some more salt. You want to make sure there's enough salt in it. 
You can always add salt, but it's hard to turn it away. Pepper. And of course, some good cheese on top, which is Parmesan or any other cheese. I happen to love a good Parmesan cheese on soup. And there it is. Kone con gana, which means bon appetit or enjoy in Ladino. Mm. Delicious. Thank you.